me set the uh, docks here. So Drew, uh, you need to depress the release buttons to arm the soft dock and then slide the handrail into the seat track. And then you just push the handrail. I'm just realizing it only slides one way. Or it looks like yeah, there should be a, slide one way. There should be an arrow on the underside that shows which direction that it needs to slide. On the underside? It's a good place for it. Yeah, dude, it's there, yep. Yeah. I saw it. Yaki, while we have a moment, I'm just sitting here looking at the bag just to confirm. I got three wire ties and uh, I think three. And a uh, triple wire tie around the, I think the idea is we're going to wrap the, the jumpers around and tie them three times. Stand by checking. Three wire ties, I'm assuming that's where it's going. Okay, I'll back. And Ricky, we're just setting up for the next leg of the uh, joint OKS. Copy, Maker. Alpha 2, clockwise 2. Ready for PGT. Aki. On the bill. Copy. Alpha 2, clockwise 2. Expect eight turns. Make sure it's fully seated first, and then you can drive the two bolts. Give us the torque turns in light. Okay. Alpha 2, clockwise 2, eight turns, torque turns in light. And for Ricky, just a heads up, uh, big picture wise, first you're going to start with the NZGLs. Oh, I was just thinking, I was just looking at the configure the bag, making sure I understood. Yeah, we're going to do the NZGL, we got to cut some tent, uh, lanyards, uh, we're going to bundle those up, we got three wire ties, then we're going to move on. We're going to cap those and move on to the jumpers and cap those. Yep, that's correct. Ricky Arnold uh, reporting uh, that he is well into uh, the work uh, for his part of this spacewalk as he uh, begins to demate uh, a number of line heaters uh, for the uh, various uh, flex hoses, the two flex hoses that are being removed, suspected of being leaking flex hoses uh, on this radiator beam valve module. This uh, component uh, that is uh, designed to control the transfer of ammonia between the radiator components on the International Space Station and the rest of the thermal control system loops. And the uh, helmet cam review uh, from Drew Feustel as he uh, installs uh, the second of two wireless antennas this one on the uh, space-facing side of the Tranquility module. Copy. Again, uh, this will be used to relay payload data for a payload known as EcoStress that will be delivered uh, to the International Space Station uh, on a future SpaceX Dragon cargo flight. The EcoStress experiment will be uh, mounted robotically on the experiment porch on the front side of the Japanese Kibo module to measure the temperature of plants back on Earth and plant vegetation, and to use that information to understand how much water plants require based on uh, the level of environmental stress they are subjected to. Copy 3.8.
Got it set to Alpha to 3.8, both bolts 3.8, green light, both bolts. Second bolt was nine and a half turns. Copy all, thank you. All right, all good numbers. Uh, that uh, antenna is installed, so it can uh, still PGT. Next, we're going to route the EWC cable. Copy. Take your I have your lower boom to the radiator. Copy. So, Jury, if you like, you can uh, stow that PGT in the medium or you back. So, the uh, Zenith antenna now installed, and uh, Foistel will wrap up this part of the his spacewalking work uh, by routing uh, a series of cables uh, to provide connectivity between uh, the newly installed antennas and the Tranquility module. Naki, we're going after RBVM 0013. Yep, that is the right one. RBVM-2-0113. Okay, copy. And if you get closer, verify back clearance with the radiator. Again? Yeah, just make sure that the bag is clear with the radiator when you get close. Yep, yep, I, I will. Thank you, and remind me again, please. Absolutely. Okay, Ricky, we are ready to maneuver to the RBDM position, if you are. I am ready. Okay, let us configure manual mode. And this is going to be uh, GCA to published. So first, we're going to station forward, then station starboard. Okay, copy. And the first maneuver is... Station four, the one meter. Okay, copy. We're going to stop. Station four. I see the motion. to go. Aki, we're going after the most outdoor jumpers, correct? Checking. Hey, Ricky, next maneuver is station starboard, one and a half meters. Okay, copy. Watch in the bag. Ricky, Zenith, jumpers, and uh, we're going to the NZGLs first. I'm just trying to take the picture you guys gave me and put it to what I'm seeing. Take your, uh, the boom looks like it's going to clear. I know you're probably a little nervous, but it looks okay from here. Sounds good. Thank you. This view from uh, Drew Feustel's helmet camera as he routes uh, the cables associated with the two wireless antennas that he has installed on the Tranquility module. Meanwhile, Ricky Arnold... Uh, is working right now on uh, the early stage of uh, the removal of various uh, heater lines uh, known as NZGLs, that uh, stands for NASA Zero-G Line Heaters, uh, that are part of the uh, two jumpers or flex hoses that he'll be removing from a uh, radiator beam valve module on the truss of the station. Make, let's start motion here. Let's make sure I have the alignment right because we might. Aki, could you read some numbers for those NCGLs? So the uh, RBVM itself is RBVM 2 0113. 
the heater cables are whiskey 5176 and 77. 5177 and 5176. They're coming off these jumpers. I see the two peak lamps right on the V guide. It looks like the the NZGLs are up closer to the RBBM, so I, I might need to go back to uh, I make it up. Sorry to do this to you, but back to my right. If that's correct, I see Whiskey 177 and. Hey, Ricky, you should have a, the first step is the TA, releasing the TA clamps, so just look for those first. Okay, the ones right here in front of me, I'll, I just make a trim release. One hour, 26 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk uh, by Drew Feustel and Ricky Arnold. Uh, everything continuing to proceed on track after uh, the crew began their spacewalk behind schedule uh, per the clock today uh, due to a slightly longer uh, requirement for leak checks on Drew Feustel's suit. Uh, continuing to take questions on uh, hashtag AskNASA for social media followers of our activities. Uh, the next question up is uh, Leone Oakley, who asks, how do they regulate the temperatures inside their suits? They do have a uh, temperature regulator knob as part of their controls on their suits so that they can uh, either cool down or warm up, depending on uh, which cycle of uh, sunset or uh, daylight uh, the International Space Station is passing through. So that's how they regulate temperatures inside their extravehicular mobility units. Uh, Meher asks, what is the significance of the red stripes on Drew Feustel's spacesuit? Uh, nothing more than to distinguish him from uh, Ricky Arnold. Uh, EV-1 or extravehicular crew member number one always wears uh, a suit bearing the red stripes. The other crew member uh, would not have stripes on his suit, in this case, Ricky Arnold. It's basically a visual uh, distinction uh, that provides uh, situational awareness uh, for the ground controllers here as uh, they watch uh, the activities on uh, cameras outside the International Space Station. Again, uh, Keep uh, sending your questions to hashtag AskNASA. We'll get to as many as time permits during the course of today's spacewalk. Once I get it, I'll, I'll take a look and made it. Copy. The clamps are released, um, and I closed them back up with the cables not in them, and uh, I'm ready to go after the NZGLs if you are just getting the scissors out. Okay, copy that, yeah. So next step was to cut the lacing cord with the scissors and uh, stow any debris in your trash bag. Copy that. Uh, Maker, I'm going to need to head over in that general direction. And I'll give you directions here in a second. It's probably going to have to be internal but to me. Exactly. Uh, you you're watching uh, the view from Drew Feustel's camera. The conversation you're hearing is with Ricky Arnold as he is in the process of uh, being positioned uh, by Scott Tingle, who's operating the station's robotic arm from the Cupola workstation as he uh, releases uh, line heaters and clamps uh, before removing uh, several uh, flex hose quick disconnect uh, cables. Uh, holding those flex hoses uh, for the radiator beam valve module that we're removing uh, the flex hoses from today. We're now an hour and a half into today's spacewalk, planned for about six and a half hours as Feustel and Arnold continue their work uh, pretty much on the timeline. They're going to manual now. Okay, we are starting your maneuver to the right. Feels like I'm uh, moving a little bit to my left. We are checking. We, we just gave you a positive yaw, but if you're telling us that's the wrong direction, we'll give you a negative yaw, and uh, we'll get you uh, where you want to go. Yeah, and it might, okay, yeah, let's give it, let's do that, and uh, um, it, it might be all the way the arm moves. Let's go ahead and try that. 
in motion. Hey, good ten, slow five, good yeah, that feels better, Maker, thanks. Copy trip. Continue. Continue. Two made it. Copy. You. Verify over center. Continue. Yeah, I probably go about We got to go about a 20, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 20 degrees or so. Copy. 20 more. Over center. You. Copy, continue. Baker, I'm not really able to help you out too much with the arm. Roger that. Tend to go. Yeah, this is not good. So let's go, um, let's ramp out that motion for right now, because I think the arm's trying to do, to make this work. Let's go body right. Copy, body right. I am clear. Probably about 20 to 30 centimeters, Maker. Copy. 20 centimeters. Body right. That's good motion. Copy. Good motion. Continue. 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 Just about 20 centimeters now. Yeah, let's keep going a little bit further. It'll make Maker happier. It's getting me away from the beam here. Exactly. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, three, two, one, dot motion. Motion. And if you could take me, uh, just, uh, toward my head, uh, maybe about 10, about 20 centimeters. Great. It was body. Edward, to the head, 20 centimeters. I'm sitting on top of Whiskey 5177 and Whiskey 5176. Good motion. In you. Copy, good motion. In you. In you. Three, two, one, let's stop there. Copy. Okay, Aki, um, I can cut this lanyard and not leave any, just leave it hanging on the thing, or I can leave it on the jumper to bring it back in. How about if I just leave it on the jumper to bring it back in? On the NZGL. That's fine, Ricky. And uh, just wanted to confirm GCA complete. Yeah, GCA complete. GCA complete. Thanks, um. Thank you. Good job, guys. And, Ricky, we can bring it in if you like. And for Drew, uh, we we see you uh, replace the PMA cover. Just wanted to make sure that the PMA cover is covering the CBM ceiling surface. Can you see it in that WBS? Yeah, we think it's good. I just wanted to double check with you. Covering where the pedal was. Yep, it's still over the pedal. And the uh, cable's just sitting in there next to the other three. I didn't, not secured on anything near the caps. Uh, was that your intent? Checking. Thank you. I'm ready for connector steps. I have the caps ready. Montalbano's got to be thrilled. Every one of his cat keeper French hooks, except for two, are occupied. <laughs> Yeah,